Okay, let's build some special charts. I'm going to use this simple sales data to demonstrate how you can build a customized special chart. Since charts are visual tools, therefore we need to find a good color schema to make sure that it's very attractive. So first I head over to Google and I usually use this website to pick some color schema because obviously I'm not a good artist. I just simply hit the start generator button and on this page using the space I can switch from one schema to the other until I find what I want. But if you go back to the main page you can explore from the trending schemas as well. You just simply scroll down and choose the best which fits to your flavor. I'm going to use this one for today. I select the three dots and I hit open in the generator. From there, I can simply just select the color code and I can copy and use it in my Excel file. And here we go, we collected our color codes and we can start building the chart. Let's start with a simple bar chart. I am going to select only the value range, then I go to the insert tab on the ribbon, choose bar chart, let's modify the size a little bit, then I go to the view tab, I remove the grid lines just to make it look better, and I'm going to use an icon this time to make it special. I go to the insert tab, hit icons, and I'm going to choose one which fits the best to my chart. I believe this is gonna be very good for a sales chart. First I select the title and I'm going to change it like sales competition. Here we go. Since my second column is the target, I'm going to change this series, right click on the orange bar, and hit change series chart type. And from there I choose the cluster column line type of chart. The second series is the line, that's okay, I hit okay. And here we go, I have a target line on my chart. I remove the legend because I don't need this time, then I select the value axis and I remove that one as well. Okay, we are getting closer. One thing I need to do is to select the chart and extend the range a little bit to get back the country names on my chart. I hit enter, then I go to the format tab, then I'm going to change the background of the chart. Let's pick this color, control C, select the chart, format, shape fill, more fill colors, custom, and enter the hex code. Hit OK, here we go, we got that. Let's change the title back to white, as well as the country names. Then I choose another color code I want for my charts, copy it then select the icon, go to the graphics format tab, graphics fill, more fill colors, custom, paste the hex code, hit OK. The graphics outline should be black maybe. Then I simply just copy the icon, then I select the bar series, then I select only the first one, then hit Ctrl V, I simply paste the icon there, and I simply just repeat the process until I get a customized bar chart. And here we go, I got a customized bar chart using an icon. And I'm going to explain in a minute that what's the trick behind this thing. But for now, let's format my chart a little bit. Let's choose a color which is more visible, here we go. And if I update my values in my table, the chart will be updated dynamically. But what if I want to use different icons or images on my chart? That's possible too. So I go back to the insert tab, I hit icons, let's choose something else. This tree looks good to me, let's insert. I'm gonna change the color and the outline. I simply copy the icon, I select the value series I want to change, hit Ctrl V and here we go. Another icon used on my bar chart. If I want to use the same icon for my entire series, then I simply select the icon again, Ctrl C, I select the entire series and hit Ctrl V. And now let me show you another trick. If you go to the draw tab, and let's say you want to create a chart that looks like a handmade drawing, then you simply go to the draw tab, you draw the shape you want, then you select the shape, Ctrl C and Ctrl V on the value series. But there is one trick you need to know. The Excel will always paste in the position how your image or icon is created. So if it's vertical and I co hit Ctrl C, select the series, I hit Ctrl V, then it's gonna be pasted as a vertical item. Let me show you with the tree. I rotate with 90 degrees, hit Ctrl C, I select the entire series, I hit Ctrl V, here we go. 
So before you paste your icon or any item on the birth chart, you have to make sure that it's in the right position. Let's go back to this handmade style. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit, rotate back 90 degrees up. Let's format. Let's use some light color. I hit control C again. I select the series. I hit control V. Here we go. And this is going to change dynamically again. But how is it possible? It's very easy. If you select the value series, and if you look at the format panel a little bit closer, then you can see that the bars on a chart are exactly the same like an image. And if you open up the field section, once you pasted something on a bar, it will treat as an image on the Excel since icons are PNG files and anything you create under the draw tab, that's going to be a PNG file too. So it's exactly the same if you would like to insert an image from your desktop or from anywhere else. Let me know in the comment if it was useful for you.